Welcome back to the show. Hope you enjoyed meeting Torval and Dean. Some girls look pretty. Some girls sing well. Some girls start your day off right by smiling at you from early morning television. Here's a girl who combines the lot. The lovely Joan McGuinness. such a long time there's so much to say no need to explain just an open door for you to come in from Melissa Manchester. Beautiful. I, I don't actually know how long ago it was, but it was on her latest album. But it's, I think it's a reasonably sort of, you know, at least two or three years. Mm. A nice song, isn't it? It's Beautiful. lovely. Words. Rodney was certainly looking at you very closely. What do you think of Jane Rodney? Oh, I like Jane very much. Yeah. Uh, especially, uh, I, I enjoyed her more on the plane today. Uh. <laughs> Wait a minute, rephrase that. <laughs> you flew down again? Yes, we did. <laughs> What did we, we do? We uh, we got lost at the airport together, and uh, we well we didn't actually get lost at the airport. But no, we it was got my lost idea. On the freeway coming back. <laughs> <Sure. down. laughs> was it your fault? Uh, yeah, I planned it. Norm. He didn't get no. you searching through luggage, did he? No. Or getting out the conveyor belt or no. whatever. <laughs> I wish he had it. It might have been fun. <laughs> Good having you on the show, Joan. What do you think of Torval and Dean? Nice young people. Fantastic. Mm. I didn't see them in Sydney, but I'm going to try and see. Oh, them. please do. Uh, I, as I say, I was only gagging before, and I said I'd get right through the dates again. But I think I might have I might have uh, messed up. 
the uh, the Adelaide performances. They're at the Ice Arena on June the 12th, 13th, 14th and 15th. The Ice Arena, June the 12th, 13th, 14th and 15th. We take this break and then Darren is with us. Here's Darren Hinch. done but I think it's I think it's about 98 percent in your favor now mm. Darren pretty serious uh, topic tonight I believe it is indeed Bert in recent months there's been a lot of publicity about uh, custody battles in Australia the family court has now started allowing uh, some mothers and some fathers to go public because their laws are fairly strict to appeal for the return of their child who's been taken away by the other parent who perhaps lost custody in a divorce settlement now it's tough enough when families break up but then when one of the parents takes the child so it's very dis distressing for the for the other one that uh, feels they have rightful custody and the law says they have now in recent days there's been a case in australia of the Seely family Rhonda Seely, uh, Alan Seely, the husband and a little girl beautiful little Jade who is five the mother um, came to Melbourne, the case started in Queensland, came to Melbourne to uh, try and find her daughter. Um, she has a court order, the law is in her favour, on her side. Now I'm in a bit of a quandary over this, and I'll admit this, because um, I know where the daughter is. Um, I've spoken to, to both the husband, ex-husband, and I've spoken to young Jade. Uh, I've been assured that she is safe. Um, on radio you've spoken? I've spoken to? both off radio and on radio. Um, I've talked to police in Queensland and I've talked to a psychologist because my fear was that having this knowledge that if something happened to that little girl and I'm sitting on this, then I could be in, in serious trouble. I only found out where they are after giving the husband an assurance that I would not disclose his whereabouts. And my feeling was, at least by keeping him, I'll be honest, by keeping him on the line, by talking to him, as I have earlier today again and tonight again, that at least I know where he is. and. Um, I, every call I talk to him, I try and get him to give himself up. Um, at the moment he won't. In fact, uh, I have him on the line somewhere in Australia. I should stress though that nobody at Channel 9, apart from me, nobody knows that number. I dial the number myself from, uh, from backstage. So if we can talk to him, uh, we'll do it. Well, this is the extension. <coughs> Alan Seeley, good evening. Uh, I'm okay. Uh, first of all, um, how, how is your daughter at the moment? Can you give that assurance to a mother who, who may be watching yes. that she's okay? Yes, Rhonda J is very, very well, well looked after, eating well, clothed well. She's happy, she's becoming more herself than she's been for a long time. Now you, you know that, uh, that, that courts in both uh, Queensland and now Victoria have said that uh, you have to turn your child in, give her back to the mother. I know, yes. You realise that by doing what you're doing now you could go to jail? You realise, I mean, I've, I've read about your, your wife's side of the story, I've heard from you your side of the story. To be quite blunt about it, my only interest in it is your daughter. Yeah. And it, it should be. But the longer you stay out, the longer you stay running with your daughter, you're going to be picked up eventually, you realise that? I realise that. I do. And if, you, if you're picked up um, by police and not turning yourself in voluntarily, you're going to be...